Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of Sole Meunier, a great beginner fish recipe. Sole is easy, and it doesn't stink. And this is a non-technical recipe. You can literally throw it together without any measurements. So here's my fish. Like with any filet, you'll have some thin parts and some thick parts. With sole, there's no skin to worry about, and although it'll probably come deboned, still check for little pieces they may have missed in processing. It happens. So we're just going to lightly dredge the fillets in seasoned flour. This is a cup of flour with some salt and pepper, but half a cup should be plenty for four fillets. And press it down gently to make sure the flour sticks to the fish. Then flip it over and do the same thing. And then lightly tap it to shake off any excess flour and set it aside while you heat up the butter. So heat the butter in a large skillet. You want something large enough that will hold the entire filet without it having to like come up on the sides of the pan. So heat the butter over medium heat until it starts to brown. If you see the bubbles here, it's on its way to browning. Also, if this looks like a lot of butter, it is. It's three tablespoons and it's a tad too much, honestly. I'd start with one and a half tablespoons when you do it. And then if you need to add more as you put in each filet, then you can add in just a little at a time. So when we put in the filet, we'll turn the heat down just a tad. Remember it was at medium heat to get the butter really good and hot. So let's just take it down to maybe a medium low and let the fish cook for two minutes. Now you can see how the filet is lying here in my pan. Um, my tips are like right at the sides of the pan and this is a 10 inch skillet. So you can, I don't think you can do this in an eight inch skillet. You need a 10 if not a 12 inch skillet. And then at around two minutes, you're gonna flip the filet carefully and cook it for another two minutes. I like sole because it's so cooperative. It doesn't fall apart like other flaky fish. And did I mention it doesn't smell? At this point, you can add in an optional sprinkle of lemon zest, but definitely squeeze in the juice of about half a lemon, both in the skillet with the butter and on top of the fish. And literally after two minutes on each side, the fish is done. Now I'm going to tear this apart right here so you can see the inside. With sole meunier and that little flour barrier we created, you won't get a crunchy crust. You won't even be able to tell there's any flour on the fish. In fact, you can substitute chickpea flour and or mix in a little almond flour. And just for fun, here's a sped up version of the second filet. Now for the sauce. You've already got browned butter and lemon juice in there, and you can stop with that, or add a little white wine, or capers like me, and then a touch more butter and lemon juice. It is possible to use too much butter. Yes, yes it is. So be conservative with the butter. It's always easier to add in more than it is to, to just deal with too much butter. So regardless, if you're cooking a couple fillets, you can put aluminum foil over the first one while you cook the second one. But if you've got more than that, then heat the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and keep the fish in there on heat proof dinner plates until you're ready to serve all the fillets. That's it for this demonstration of Sole Manier, a very French fish and easy enough for a light weeknight dinner. Get the full new notes at cookingcompaniontv.com and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.